heard this story about Drake and uh, Taylor Swift, and I never thought that they were uh, um, hooking up. It doesn't even seem like a hookation. Not even, not, not even a one-off. Nothing. Him not into her, her not into him, but they have been hanging out together and people have been speculating. Not me. Um, apparently what they're doing is, oh, and, and um, he introduced her to his mom too. But that's only because all moms want to meet Taylor Swift. You know what I mean? Like she's a big deal. But according to the New York Post, they're making music together. You know, they both have, you know, very huge crossover appeal. So I think that, you know, being in business and, and getting to know each other business-wise is terrific. I think getting to know each other any way else. Drake. <laughs> Some of your fan base. Don't do it. Don't do it. One of society's favorite couples is allegedly splitting up after six years of marriage. I'm talking about Carmelo Anthony and Lala Anthony. <clears throat> well, they were together for 14 years and married for seven years, and they do have a 10-year-old son, Cayenne. Um, there are several reasons for the split. <laughs> the biggest one I'm not at liberty to talk about until we get a second source. Oh, well, no, we have an, all, all, we have an in-house lawyer here. So, we, uh, so Jen, and so Jen was like, mm-mm, don't do it. You know, you wait for that second source. Right now, the only source for that particular thing is TMZ. Correct. All yeah. right. All right, we'll get on it, Bureau. <laughs> okay. The fi following story is disgusting. A comedian was viciously attacked on stage. Now his name, is, his name is Steve Brown, you might not know him. This happened in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, a heckler ran on stage and Steve, yep, beat, tried to beat him with the, <laughs> with the mic stand and then picks up the stool and tries to attack him with the stool. You notice nobody's jumping on stage. Security's so busy on their cell phones or in the bathroom or checking out girls in the audience. I can't stand it. You know what, look at this, look at this. I almost cursed. Fire everybody. Everybody doesn't love you just because they come to see you. They're coming to check you out closer. Mm -hmm. Oh, not you, not you. You love me, right? Anyway, um, Steve is calling for the comedy club to have more security, but what is that going to do if security's not paying attention? How about you push the chairs back a little bit so they're not so close to the um, stage and then, um, how about no mic stand there? You know, just hold on to the mic, so, cause you can use it as a weapon. <laughs> Which I'm always thinking of when I'm in the audience for Ask Wendy. <laughs> Please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Clap if you watch Dancing with the Stars, the junior edition. One woman, and she dares not to clap. She dares not to clap. No, not you. The woman with the glasses, uh-huh, next to, yes, you, yes, you, ma'am. You won't even unfurl your fist. You're clapping with the bottom of your palms. Like, you can't even give it up. You can't even, okay, ma'am. Welcome to the show. Apparently, Honey Boo Boo was eliminated last night on Dancing with the Stars. Stop it. <laughs> Junior. Now, Honey Boo Boo is now how old? 13. She's 13 years old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's time for a sit down. <laughs> like, really, Mama June? You did all your stuff and got all this and that snatched. Don't do it to Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> she is on her way. And I've held my tongue about Honey Boo Boo. I think this might be the first time, Norman, I think so. that it, I've ever let it, it go. It, yep. Well, it's obvious. Yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. And this is a very awkward story to talk about because there are, we talk about sexual harassment here. 
you know, like when men of color do something bad, they're buried yeah. under the bus. Yeah. But when a, a white man, particularly a white man of power like this, this is Miramax Films, this is Harvey Weinstein Productions, he's been fired from his own situation, but guess what? You give this a moment, I bet you he'll be back in place doing something. And there will always be some loosey gooseys willing to go along and play the game. I have to say, there's one thing that I love about my lavender chair. And I will continue to tell you this, and I don't care what you think. I got here all by myself. I never got on my knees, never got on my back, never. I don't. Wow. Excuse me? Thank you. Thank you. And I don't believe I'm a bad looking woman. I wasn't even a bad looking woman even before, you know, everything that I've done to myself. <laughs> but what I am is a shrewd woman. You know, when you, when you sense something, you leave the situation. It's not even worth it even for that paycheck. You leave the situation. You want to empower yourself so that one day you'll have your own lavender chair to be able to go back to the situation and say, pig, pig, pig. Just saying. By the way, shout out to you college girls. I know, <gasps> nope. I know professors are younger and younger these days and they're hot. Don't do it. It's, it's not worth that grade. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Oops, I mean the big bowl. The big game. You can say it. I didn't watch halftime either. And no, I didn't see the performance, like I said, but you know, people who did see it, everybody said, well, she's no Beyonce, well, she's no Madonna. And I'm like, no, she's Gaga. And it's a whole different type of performance. Like, stop comparing them. As far as who should perform for next year, people are already uh, weighing in. Um, so I would like to see Rihanna at the Super Bowl, and I don't think that she needs to go up there with anybody. We thought that Gaga was gonna bring Beyonce. Well, you thought Gaga was gonna bring Beyonce. <laughs> I told her through the TV, don't do it. <laughs> Even Beyonce not being pregnant with twins would still upstage a Gaga. Yes. But Beyonce pregnant with twins? Don't do it. That, that is an absolute upstage ya. She gonna upstage ya. Yeah. <laughs> so, here's this actress. She's young and she's very popular. She's 21. Her name is Lily Reinhardt and she's one of the stars of this hit show called Riverdale. It's based on the Archie comics. Remember from back in the day? Archie's here, da 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 da. Veronica too, da da. <laughs> anyway, she revealed a really creepy encounter with a delivery man. She ordered a pizza and, and she was at work, she's on the set. And the man, <clears throat> the man who delivered it kept her phone number and then kept texting her and harassing her to follow him on Instagram. And so everybody around the set was saying, her set was saying, excuse me, pardon me, was saying, uh, why is she ordering her own pizza? You know, we have people here who are doing that. Why is she on her, why is she giving out her telephone number and stuff? Hey, you know what I say? Why not? I, I mean, she has good fingers, dial the number, <laughs> order the pizza. I'm sure she's got plenty of people around who could do it for her, but you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna get so large that you forget to do basic things in life. Yeah. I don't know, if you were a star of a show, would you call for your own pizza? Clap if you would. <laughs> oh. Me too, you are my people. I've never had that encounter though where somebody like calls weird afterwards, but everybody's got my number. You know, the lawn people, the garbage man, the, you know, they got my number because I'm running the house. You know, you got my number at the Chinese because I want some mushu. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, at the, at the pizza, I like my pepperoni, or not the pepperoni, uh, the anchovy. But when I open the front door, it's like, oh. And I'm like, thank you. And have a nice night. Don't, don't do it. I've never had a problem with that though. 
But if it were, if I were her, if you're really concerned, young lady, just block his number. And if it ever happens again, call the boss. Like, who's, who's your boss? I'm calling right now. I'm telling them exactly what you do. And save the text and let the boss see. And then that little boy will be out of a job. And then you'll have to feel bad about it because it's the holidays and he might have two kids. <laughs>